Hey guys, Faisal here with Soft Modder, and uh, today I've got the Galaxy Note 3 with me, and I'm going to show you how to load uh, the Galaxy S5 Active exclusive app called Activity Zone. Now, uh, this app is only shipping with the Active, and as far as we know right now, it's only going to ship with the AT&T variant. But, um, TK Tech News, who, who leaked the uh, Galaxy S5 Active, has pulled the APK for Activity Zone and made it available for us. So I've got the download link for that in the article. Um, now, I'm doing this with the Note 3, as I said. This will also work flawlessly with the Galaxy S4 and the uh, regular Galaxy S5. Uh, that being said, I've also put it on my personal Galaxy S3, and it works about... Um, you know, I would say 90% of the way. Uh, this app does make use of the built-in barometer, which the S3 does not have, but the Note 3 has it, the S4 has it, and the S5 has it. So, uh, you know, go ahead and you can load this up on any of those. Now, again, I've got the link in the article. Once you download it uh, directly to your device, it will be in your uh, downloads folder. So go ahead and just tap that, and you're going to install it like normal. Uh, you don't need root or expose or anything like that. You will need unknown resources, uh, so make sure that you have that enabled in uh, settings uh, security. Um, but once you have that taken care of, uh, it's all like any other app now. You may notice this does have a lot of crazy permissions. Uh, that's because it uses a lot of things on your device. Um, now you don't see that here because I already have it installed, but when you install it for the first time, it's about three pages of permissions. So if any of those make you uncomfortable, um, you know, you, you can post in the comments and uh, we can get into what each one means, but um, you know, generally uh, things that, that really kind of pull from all of your sensors um, and data will require a lot of permissions and this one does. Um, now this is the basic screen. You've got the barometer, uh, you've got a compass, and then you've got two shortcuts for flashlight and stopwatch. If you hit here, um, you've got a, a sidebar where you can just kind of quickly access those features um, and you have app shortcuts which you can um, you know add more apps to. I will say that this exercise shortcut not only does it not work because we don't have that uh, APK from the S5 Active, it's also not removable. Uh, the other things, uh, you know, you can add whatever apps you want um, from your full app list uh, into that little shortcut area, uh, and and any of those, uh, once you save them, you can remove them. Um, but the exercise one, you cannot. But again, back to the main uh, main purpose of this app. You've got a barometer. Now, if you don't have a built-in barometer, like uh, I don't on my S3. Um, this will, can pull data from the internet, but it's not going to be as accurate as having uh, the built-in sensor. And uh, aside from that, you've got the compass. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's a standard compass, but um, if you tap up here, you've got a few other features. You can change the uh, azimuth mode, or uh, you can change the view. So, you know, there's a normal view. Um, you can have uh, the camera in the background. You can have a map. Uh, of your current location in the background and you can set it to night mode. Um, pretty standard stuff for a compass. Uh, then we've got the flashlight. Um, this is, you know, it's just a normal flashlight. You turn it on here, um, you can adjust the levels, you can make it, you know, give it a strobe effect by having it blink, uh, which is kind of hard to see here. Uh, and then you can uh, change it, you know, uh, right now it's using the flash. You can have it flash the screen. You can also have it do a, a Morse code, which is kind of cool, I guess, in those emergency situations where it may be useful. You know, you could put an SOS and have it start, and it'll flash that uh, in Morse code. So uh, that is the flashlight. Um, then we have a stopwatch. Um, pretty standard stuff for a stopwatch start. You can set laps here. Um, you know, do the stop, and then you can view your results. You can see statistics. Um, this is kind of cool, you know, if you're a runner or something, you want to time yourself. Uh, this is a great way to kind of track your progress and makes it really easy to do laps. Um, and just a kind of a, a neat new stopwatch. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, this is exclusive to the S5 Active, but uh, with the APK, it installs just fine on the Note 3. Uh, and again, it also worked for the S4 the S5, and the S3, uh, and the Note 2, actually. So uh, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Make sure to like this video, comment on it, subscribe to our channel, check out the full article, and we will see you next time. Later, guys.